For the rest of our lives, we will search for moments full of you. I didn't get Rita back as a person and as a body, but I got Rita back. I won't let no one take that from me. That's all for this edition of Dateline. We'll see you again Sunday at 7, 6 central. And of course, I'll see you each weeknight for NBC Nightly News. I'm Lester Holt. For all of us at NBC News, good night. On our broadcast tonight, Embracing Potawatomi Culture, we'll hear how kids are learning tribal tradition. Plus, President Biden is set to approve an oil drilling project in Alaska. We'll hear from both sides on the controversial plan. And Lakeland and Leona Wabino both headed down to the state basketball tournament. We'll have the highlights from Green Bay as your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Dan Hagen, Jessica Jukic, and Jeff Weller. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 10. I'm Dan Hagen. And I'm Jessica Jukage. For the last four years, the Forest County Potawatomi community has been running an event to help inspire the next generation. It's called Youth Gathering and it helps kids learn to embrace their culture and teach them traditions. News Watch 12's Muhammad Abdul Kawi went to the Potawatomi Carter Casino Hotel this morning to learn more. Love it because it's, uh, you know, we got a big interest from our youth and along with our community to want to be a part of it. So it just feels good. The Forest County Potawatomi community is hosting their annual youth gathering event this weekend. Richard Guje says a lot of people have been looking forward to it. Yeah, basically it's just the community coming together. I would say like, uh, you know, the elders along with the youth and uh, just trying to keep these traditions going along with the teachings and stuff like that. The day started with a fire ceremony followed by a powwow. Chairman James Crawford says the main purpose is to inspire the youth to be themselves. We want to help them learn that culture and to learn really what, uh, and to really grab a hold of, of who they are and, and to own it and to love it and to not let anybody uh, tell them that they have to be different. While the kids may be young, this event shows that the future looks bright. It shows me that, that we're in a good place, that our, our kids are heading in the right direction to someday, you know, be in, be in my position, leading the people. And I, I have great confidence when I, when I walk around and I speak to these young people, I feel good about our future. Well, Jeff, most people woke up to a few inches of snow outside. Yes, they did, and there's more snow on the way. In fact, two more systems on the way before now and probably Friday. How will this look for these systems on the weekend? Well, it's going to be a refresher for the snow trails for sure, and then also some cooler temperatures. We did this this morning, though. Weston had a 6.8 inches of snow. Merrill was 6.1. Summit Lake, 5.2. So a healthy snow earlier today. That was pretty much done by noon. And then uh, we began to clear out just a bit across the area today, and we have a nice night for us tonight. Okay, so here goes System 1. It's going that way. You see later behind it, there are a couple flurries in here, but already on the radar is this. System 2, it's that one right there, and this one's going to be a long duration snow event for us, meaning it'll arrive as snow about late in the day tomorrow and linger through Saturday evening, through Sunday into Monday morning. So a good 36 hours of light snow is on the way for us beginning uh, tomorrow evening. In fact, here it is now, it's an Alberta clipper uh, moving very slowly once it gets over Wisconsin. It's going to slow down and kind of park itself over us for a couple days, and that will give us those good snow totals by the end of the weekend. All right, for tonight, they're looking at mostly cloudy skies, and partly cloudy skies. A couple of flurries are out there with low temperatures down near 16. Your full forecast is coming up, Jessica. Marshfield Clinic Health System recently announced hundreds of layoffs, and with it comes the closure of a pediatric clinic that provides care for children with special needs. That clinic is the Marshfield Children Pediatric Therapy Clubhouse in Rice Lake, and operations there are set to end in May. Parents who have kids getting treatment are concerned their children could lose the progress. If we stop the therapy that he's been getting, he could revert back to not speaking at all. I mean, some of these children, it's traumatic just being in a car ride for that long.
parents were told they could go to Marshfield or Duluth, Minnesota for their two options to continue, continue seeking care for their child. An official with Marshfield Clinic Health System says the clinic is closing because of soaring costs. Norfolk Southern has had a rough few months. You know what, Jessica, you take this one. Uh, Starting with that toxic train derailment in we... East Palestine, now the railroad company says a group of their rail cars recently put into service have loose wheels. The company says they immediately notified the National Transportation Safety Board and the manufacturer and has issued orders to remove these cars from service until the wheel sets can be replaced and fully inspected. The Association of American Railroads also issued an advisory to the industry to halt the use of these cars since multiple railroad companies use that model. A Wisconsin company was accused of violating Wisconsin's wastewater laws. Today, Attorney General Josh Call announced Ledgeview Farms LLC from De Pere was hit with a $320,000 settlement. The settlement says the company has operated for years without the legally required Wisconsin pollutant discharge elimination system. The complaint says Ledgeview Farms allowed manure and waste water from their farm into nearby waterways. The company is also required to stop using a feed storage area that does not capture wastewater runoff. The Biden administration is soon set to approve the controversial ConocoPhillips Willow Project. It's a major oil drilling project in northern Alaska. While it has bipartisan support from state lawmakers and some native groups, opposition voices against it are getting louder. 20-year-old Elise Joshi, a senior at University of California, is one of those social media activists. Will not just impact Alaska, it will not just impact this country, it will impact the world. But the amount of carbon emissions that it will emit, we will see an increase in frequency and intensity of natural disasters. The project would tap as much as 600 million barrels of oil. Now, Gruk Harkacek's family has also lived in the region for generations. He supports the project. His nonprofit represents two dozen native communities, corporations, and local governments who say the project would be an economic boon and help the U.S. wean off foreign oil. The economics that a project like this would uh, bring into the region, uh, mainly to the North Slope Borough in the form of uh, taxes um, to help provide and maintain first world conditions. The Biden administration's decision is expected next week. There is some drilling that has already been approved and is happening now in the region. ConocoPhillips is promoting its project with promises of good union jobs and saying it's undergone a five-year regulatory process for nearly five years with public input. The DNR is in the process of creating a new wolf management plan. One way it would be different than the old plan is it wouldn't have a statewide population goal. But two Republican lawmakers circulated a bill today that would reverse that. One of them is Assemblyman Chance Green from Bayfield County. The bill would force the DNR to set a statewide goal, but would let the department decide on what that number should be. The DNR's plan would move from a statewide goal to managing wolves in six designated zones. Wisconsin law mandates a wolf season, but last year a federal judge restored endangered species protections for gray wolves. The move prohibits hunting the animals until they're de delisted. Since 1956, volunteers have run a ski hill 15 miles east of Anago. This Sunday, Kettle Bowl Ski Hill is wrapping up its season. To celebrate another season, they're hosting their annual Family Fun Day to say thank you to their customers. News Watch Tall's Nick Van Zyl was at the hill today and has more. Kettle Bull Ski Hill has one goal. Have an affordable place for the community to come and ski. Bruce Tomei is the president of Kettle Bull, and he's been volunteering at the hill for decades. March 12th is the last day of their season, and they're holding their annual family fun day, which includes snow cross. 10 to 12 different jumps that they'll uh, have races coming down. Then there's a cardboard sled race. In the, in the beginning, they'll stage all their cardboard sleds up on the front so everybody can look at them and that stuff. It's really a big event. The final event has participants taking the plunge. You'll see them that they're setting up the water plunge. They will have skiers and snowboarders. They'll start higher up the hill and they'll uh, shoot down and skip across the water. Bruce says that most are successful, but as they bring the starting line lower on the hill, people start falling into the waist-deep water. Watching them do that first plunge, it's 
You got to see the looks on their faces. Whether it's your first time there or you've been going for years, Bruce says it best. Kettle Bowl is quite the treasure. Reporting in Langlade County, Nick Van Zyl, Newswatch 12. For rules and categories on this Sunday's events, visit Kettle Bowl Ski Club Facebook page. Coming up, a request to take down the barricades in Lac de Flambeau has been denied by a judge. We'll have that story after Weather with Jeff right here on Newswatch 12. Us. All this isn't us. Uh -huh. Is it? When do we get so connected to our devices and so disconnected from each other? And when our phones have turned us into this? LT, what do you do when you're a company that sells them? We gotta fix this. It's time to find what we're missing. Join us in taking a break from our devices. Take the phones down for five challenge for five days, five hours, or even just five minutes. Feels good. <laughs> and let's find us again. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Good news. This just in. Your Ford dealers have fresh shipments of their award-winning SUV lineup in stock and ready for you to drive home today. Get your hands on a new Ford, the number one brand in SUV owner loyalty, including Bronco Sport with standard goat modes and Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV. And now, here's more good news. Now get a 2022 Explorer with 0% APR financing for 36 months only at your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers. Here's your News Watch 12 Snowmobile Trail Report, brought to you by your local northern Wisconsin and Upper Peninsula ski doo dealers. felon kidnapped and raped a 15-year-old girl, abducting her off the street in broad daylight. Judge Janet Protasewicz could have sentenced him to 20 years. Instead, she put him back on our streets. What detractors would say is you having been soft on a, a violent sexual crime. I would say that that's ridiculous. Judge Protasewicz puts our families at risk and putting her on our Supreme Court, that's what's ridiculous. Fair Courts America is responsible for the content of this advertising. Don't lose sleep by choosing a mattress from just any store. Instead, visit the experts at your one-stop sleep shop. Hi, I'm Kristen from Sleep Central. We're the only store in the Northwoods to carry all of the name brands, like Beautyrest, Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, Stearns & Foster, and Serta. And all are ready for immediate delivery. We guarantee you'll find the perfect mattress at the perfect price. We also have a huge selection of bedding, futons, and accessories. We know how important sleep is, so stop on by and sleep better today. Sleep Central in Manaqua. Better sleep, pain-free, that's our promise. Well, I'm not going to see you again until Sunday at this time. So here's a reminder. Clocks go forward tomorrow night into early parts of Sunday morning. And then overall, though, we have some more snowfall on the way. I know after a widespread two to six inches this morning, we'll get a break in the action tonight, followed by more snow arriving tomorrow night and lasting through Sunday into early parts of Monday. After we did this today, almost seven inches in Weston, Summer Lake 5.2 here at the station, only 2.4 inches of snow earlier today. So System 1 is getting out of here, see you across the Ohio Valley, but already on the radar, here comes System 2, uh, and this one means business, by the way. It's going to bring in uh, snow in here tomorrow evening and then into Sunday, into Monday. All right, this is an Alberta clipper, meaning it forms over Alberta, Canada, right up there, and typically these things catch the jet stream. They move very quickly and bring us a fluffy one to three inches of snow. This one, though, is going to cut itself off from the jet stream and sit and spin over us tomorrow night, Sunday, into Monday morning, and that's going to give us a long-duration light snow event. So here we are Sunday morning at 7 a.m. Notice how it's still snowing at 7 p.m. on Sunday, 8 p.m., and into early parts of Monday morning. So it's going to be a 36-hour event for us that's going to drop a lot of snow around here. So the event's going to start tomorrow, probably still by this time tomorrow evening, into Monday morning. 36 hours of light snow, some breaks in there as well. It won't be all-the-time snow, uh, but it will be 
begin to add up. Now, this will mostly fall during the daytime on Sunday. So with the sunshine getting through the clouds still this time of year, the roadways may be just fine. But we'll see uh, if the snow rates increase at all on Sunday, likely getting snow covered roadways around here again. When it's all said and done, it's going to look like this, a widespread four to eight inch snowfall. Now, the caveat here is it's not going to fall all at once. It's a long duration light snow event. So by Monday morning, a widespread four to eight inch snowfall across the area. More as you go back north and west and parts of northwestern Wisconsin. Uh, so again, light snow falling for a long period of time into Sunday. Now, here's the graphic. It's very interesting, right? Right now, we're about 85 inches of snow so far this season in Rhinelander. We need 92.9 to make the top five snowiest seasons on record in Rhinelander. Will we do it? Well, the pattern is active, as they say, as the snow's coming in tomorrow night through Sunday, and another system gets in here next week, Wednesday into Thursday. Uh, the advisories are posted for parts of western Wisconsin, included in here is Price County. These may be extended tomorrow as a winter weather advisory, but overall, with the snow falling during the daytime and there's still some sunshine getting through, roadways may not be an issue through Sunday into Monday. Temperatures, though, now are 21 in Rhinelander, 26 for Merrill, 29 for Wapaka. Most of us had high temperatures today near 30. Going forward, though, 31 tomorrow, 32 for Sunday, 25 for Monday, and then maybe above freezing Wednesday into Thursday of next week. Our forecast then tonight, though, is lots of clouds out there. There could be a couple of flurries around. Look for low temperatures down near 16 for tomorrow. All right, so cloudy early, followed by afternoon snow showers in there, all light snow, but persistent for several hours. Look for high temperatures near 31. And then looking ahead, your seven-day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Metro shows snow arriving tomorrow evening, lingering through all day Sunday into early parts of Monday. Then we're quiet Monday and Tuesday, followed by a very interesting system, a very wet one, getting in here Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Jessica. Snowfall last night in southern Wisconsin caused more than 100,000 people to lose power. The heavy and wet snow downed power lines around the Milwaukee area. We Energies reported it expects to restore power to nearly 90% of its customers by the end of tonight. And it expects that 98% of customers will have power restored by the end of Saturday. Sheboygan had the most snow from the storm with around 13 inches. For 38 days, some Lac de Flambeau residents have had four roads blocked by barricades. On Monday, they filed motions against the tribe requesting the barricades be taken down. On Wednesday, a federal judge denied that request, and today the LDF tribe responded to the decision. First off, the judge said he didn't have the authority to approve the request before hearing from the tribe, so he gave the tribe's attorneys until March 28th to respond. Tribal President John Johnson released a statement today. He said, quote, we feel for the impacted property owners and hope this ruling encourages all property owners to press for immediate action by the town of Lac de Flambeau and the involved in title insurance companies and the Bureau of Indian Affairs to resolve this matter, end quote, adding that the whole situation could have been avoided if the town and title companies would have negotiated in good faith within the last 10 years. It's a medicine commonly used to treat people with breathing problems, but liquid albuterol is in short supply. And that shortage is expected to get even worse after one of the two manufacturers that makes the medication closed last week. Albuterol is used to treat asthma patients, especially children. Many families are worried about the shortage. I just feel like I would like have to ration it and then have to make a judgment call, like how serious is this? Should we save this until it gets really, really bad? bad. Pharmacies have started diverting supplies to emergency rooms. Patients are being told to go to the hospital in a flare-up instead of trying to find doses to use at home. Inhalers of albuterol are not impacted. Two local teams took the biggest stage in high school basketball, the state tournament. Coming up on Newswatch 12, Saul Meyer will have the highlights and reactions from the two teams in action, Leona Obino and Lakeland. Sexual assault of an 11 year old. No prison time. He raped a military veteran, left her for dead just two and a half years. Raped a mentally disabled 14 year old. Probation. How the heck did this happen? Janet Protasiewicz. If you could go back in time, would you have ruled any differently? I would say no. Really? No time in prison? I would say no. Protasiewicz set violent criminals free. Again and again. Tell Judge Protasiewicz stop protecting criminals. 
special report. Spectrum just launched Spectrum One, where Spectrum Internet, Advanced Wi-Fi, and Unlimited Mobile come together to keep you seamlessly connected wherever you are. Switch to Spectrum One and get 300 megabit internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of Unlimited Mobile with no contract. Call 1-833-743-4999. The Coopers here just got Spectrum One. Why did you switch? With Spectrum One, we get a super fast, reliable connection. Look, with Spectrum Internet, I can stream Spectrum news across all our devices. And the advanced Wi-Fi has enhanced security and privacy features that automatically block <laughs> online threats, keeping our family and devices safe and secure. How reliable is Spectrum Mobile? It's a super reliable service coast to coast. And it includes nationwide 5G. Switch to Spectrum One and get 300 megabit internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and one free line of unlimited mobile with talk, text, and data. Call 1-833-743-4999 or visit a Spectrum store today. Oh, that spin class was brutal. I bet. Hey, can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure. It's wireless. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? It's uh, Buick Envision. That's a really tight spot. I used to hate parallel parking. Mm -hmm. Me too. The Buick Envision. Built around you. All of you. Get 3.9% APR for five years and no monthly payments for 90 days. Plus, current eligible non-GM owners get $750 purchase allowance on Buick Envision models. Update the floors in your home and save 11% on your flooring project at Menards. Great Lakes Vinyl Floors are perfect for any room in your home. Find a wide selection of waterproof and durable floors that are easy to install. Great Lakes Vinyl Floors also feature an attached pad for comfort and noise reduction. Heritage Vinyl Plank is only $3.29 after 11% rebate now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Leona Wabino played their state semifinals game in their first state tournament appearance since combining schools. Down big in the second half, but on a mission to come back, scoring as quickly as they can to get back in it. However, Blair Taylor's defense was on another level, and they were able to take down Leona Wabino 55 to 26. While they couldn't get the job done, this Leona Wabino team will still be remembered for all of their accomplishments. I think our team will be remembered by how hard we work on and off the court. We definitely are putting in that, like the extra hours. We're always going into the gym to get some extra shots up, and I think we're just a very hardworking group of girls. Head coach Andrew Harrison was proud of his team and the fight that they put up on the big stage. They obviously care about wins and losses, and that's what we're doing out there, but it's, it's the fight. It's the grind that we put out, out on that court and how hard we work from the start of the game to the end of the game. And those are the greatest compliments I get from other coaches and spectators is how hard my girls work, and that, that's what I'm most proud of. Leona Wabino unfortunately fell short in this game, but they weren't the only team from the Northwoods trying to bring home a state title. Lakeland Union took on Pewaukee in the state semifinal game for D2. First half came with a lot of toughness for the T-Birds. Christina Wamet finds her sister Juliana who drives in and gets the tough bucket for two off the offhand layup. In the second half, Lakeland Union was down looking to fight back and Juliana wouldn't go down without a fight. She drains the three ball here to put the T-Birds back in it. However, the scoring barrage by the Turian Twins proved to be too much and Pewaukee went on to win this one 80 to 63, ending the legendary career of Juliana Womet. Um, I'm so thankful I got to play with this team. Um, they've been awesome. I've loved these girls. Uh, it's been a lot of fun playing with them and like just having them around me for everything. I'm so lucky that I got to play with these girls over the last few years. Her mother, head coach Melissa Womet, was proud to see her team make it this far and prove that they belong. This season was phenomenal. I, it was just the culmination of everything coming together, all the open gyms, all the tournaments, all the leagues, all the skill sessions, um, and all the support of the families, the communities, and the schools. Thank you. Lakeland Union season has officially come to an end, and Juliana Wilmet has played her last game in a T-Birds jersey, and head coach Melissa Wilmet has coached her daughter for the final time. Reporting here at the Rest Center in Ashwaubenon, and I'm Saul Meyer, Newswatch 12. You can always find great-looking furniture at incredible everyday low prices at Slumberland Furniture. 
like these modern sectionals and sofas, starting as low as $3.99, and always free doorstep shipping. Get your look for less at Slumberland Furniture. For 25 years, Janet Protasewicz was a prosecutor, fighting for justice for victims of crime, helping people like her and him and them. She believes everyone has the right to a safe community. As a judge, Janet upholds the Constitution, and she fiercely guards our rights and our freedoms. Judge Janet will bring change to the court. A common-sense, impartial judge who cares about us. Janet Protasewicz for Supreme Court. At Lakeside Living Design, we've always got something stylish in store for you. Whether you're looking for high-quality custom upholstery, decorative accessories and gifts, or are designing your space entirely from scratch, you'll have a friendly designer by your side sharing their expertise, helping you bring your unique style to life. So stop by, explore our showroom, and together we'll make your space feel just like home. There are never enough hours in the day. I'm always making trade-offs, sacrifices, but I'll keep going. Even when it feels like there's no way I can do it all. I won't give up. I'm doing this for me and for them. We're doing this together. North Central Technical College's virtual college. Flexible learning because our time is precious. Sore back but hate mattress shopping? Yes. Totally dread it. Totally. Totally. Come to Slumberland and see how we've made mattress shopping easy. How easy is that? So easy. So easy. <laughs> Get your sleep solution at Slumberland Furniture. The wailing heard in a Georgia fire station last month was no siren. It was a newborn infant saying hello to the world. Firefighter Brett Langston helped deliver his own granddaughter at his fire station back in February. The baby's mom, Hannah, was halfway to the birthing center when she realized she was not going to make it. Luckily, her dad's fire station was just down the street. She's beautiful. She's perfect. I joke with my friends, I'm like, she was a surprise baby, she had a surprise birth, everything about her, just surprise. The baby's name is Adeline. Hannah plans to keep bringing the baby back to the station to visit Grandpa and to see where she was born. We'll be right back with one final check of the forecast, but first, here's this week's Big Old Fish. Newswatch 12's Big Old Fish is brought to you by Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Monaco. You're going to need a bigger boat. What do you call a fish with cable? Why, telefishing, of course. All right, so we start off this week's Big Old Fish with seven-year-old Tucker Hartman. Now, he was fishing on Pine Lake and Hiles when he hauled this beautiful 25-inch walleye. Incidentally, it took him 15 minutes to land. Well, why wouldn't it? That's a big old fish. Way to go, Tucker. Keep on reeling them in. Next up on this week's Big Old Fish, we have Laura Schultz, who caught this 40-inch gator of a northern on an Oneida County Lake while being guided by Rick Whitehead. 40 inches, northern... Yeah, that's a big old fish. Way to go, Laura. Keep on reeling them in. And finally on this week's Big Old Fish, we have Gary Kuehler. He definitely got himself into a Big Old Fish when he speared the 74-inch, 125 and one-half pound sturgeon on Lake Winnebago. Yeah, nothing more needs to be said there, Gary. That is one Big Old Fish. Way to go. Keep on reeling them in. All right, fishermen and women, make sure to keep those trophy pictures coming. All the information you need to be in a future episode of Big Old Fish and win a Northern Taxidermy Fish Meal is on our website, WJFW.com. And remember, anglers, fish on. Emmer Properties leases office, storage, and manufacturing space, as well as apartments, duplexes, and homes. We are your first call, your last call, your only call for your rental or lease needs. 
When you rent a Culligan water softener, there is no down payment or maintenance costs. Imagine all you could do with the savings. <laughs> Dive into better water. Contact your local Culligan water dealer. A convicted felon kidnapped and raped a 15-year-old girl, abducting her off the street in broad daylight. Judge Janet Protasewicz could have sentenced him to 20 years. Instead, she put him back on our streets. What detractors would say is you having been soft on a, a violent sexual crime. I would say that that's ridiculous. Judge Protasewicz puts our families at risk, and putting her on our Supreme Court, that's what's ridiculous. Fair Courts America is responsible for the content of this advertising. This is Ford Truck Month, America. Time to get up and get into Ford F-150. Part of F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight. All amped up and ready for work or play. Plus, there's a great selection in stock and ready for delivery today. So get into Ford Truck Month and see what a built Ford Tough truck can do for you. Now, choose Flex Buy on a 2022 F-150 with 2.9% APR financing for 66 months and 1,000 Flex Buy cash plus 1,000 Ford credit cash. Do you know the secret to losing up to one pound of fat every day? At Wausau Weight Loss, we know the secret. Our unique doctor-supervised program makes it easy to lose weight, get healthy, and get your energy back safely, naturally, and effectively. If you'd love to lose unhealthy fat without counting points or calories, no exercising, no prepackaged meals, no HCG, no drugs, no hypnosis or surgery, call Wausau Weight Loss today at 715-203-8695. Hi, I'm Janelle. I've lost 70 pounds in 30 inches. I know the secret. I feel great now after losing the 70 pounds. I can do stairs. I don't have pain through the day, through the night. As a breast cancer survivor, I knew I needed to lose the weight to prevent future health issues. I feel great living each day with hope for my future. For your free private weight loss consultation, call Wausau Weight Loss today at 715-203-8695. We know the secret.com. You're watching NBC 12, your home for dramas, game shows, comedies, and sports. NBC 12, from where you live. The big St. Patrick's Day parade in Rhinelander is happening tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's at 1.30. Jeff, it looks a lot <laughs> different. Is that, that two years ago I think or that last was, year? Is that two years ago or last year? I don't remember. Uh, okay, so we have more snow on the way. A long-duration snow event arrives for us about late in the day tomorrow, say 5, 6 o'clock, and lingers into early parts of Monday morning. So 36 hours of light snow will give us totals like this by Monday morning. It will not come all at once. In fact, road conditions might be okay throughout the day on Saturday and for sure on Sunday too. And then overall, we're going to get the snow out of here later Sunday. And then Tuesday looking good. Wednesday, Thursday, we got a watch test system so that could bring us like pretty good snow for somebody across parts of Wisconsin. A lot this of feels snow more like January. Know, this is weird. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back on Monday. <laughs> Test one, two. Test one, two. He's going to speak now. The bad news. Most cell companies only give you discounts if you meet their hidden requirements. I bet he says the good news now. The good news. U.S. Cellular gives you $830 off any phone when you choose an unlimited evolved plan. No plan restrictions or trade-ins needed. Oh, so nice. So, friend who always has a broken phone can finally get a new one. It's just a scratch. <laughs> it's broken. No. Oh. Oh. It's busted. We're good. <laughs> oh, no. Get $830 off any phone with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. See your local Northern Wisconsin and UP ski -Doo dealers. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here and ready to help. Anyone in Wisconsin can call, text, or chat to get connected to a trained 988 counselor. Trained counselors are here to support anyone experiencing a suicidal, mental health, or substance use crisis. You can also contact 988 if you're concerned about someone. 988 is confidential and free to all Wisconsin residents. 988-247. Call, text, chat. Here to support you. 
At Lens Truck, we're all trucks all the time. Nobody has a better selection of used trucks. Ford, Chevy, Ram, GMC, over 800 of the best used trucks money can buy. Buy now and get the highest trade-in value ever at Lens. Go to LensTruck.com. That's LensTruck.com. Lens Truck, Lens Truck, we got the trucks at Lens Truck. Habish attorneys are the best of what a personal injury attorney is about. To get the most money for your case, you need to have a law firm that's unrelenting. We will fight with all that we have in person power, in knowledge, in experience to bring about the result they deserve. I can't give them their life back how it was, but I can give them...